what's up guys uh welcome back this is your boy again adam slink how you guys doing uh so guys as usual support your boy like this video comment share it on all social media platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam slink and make sure you subscribe then click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and uh, also good morning afternoon evening depending on where you are watching this video from well there's a quick update guys before we start discussing some many other major issues well this one is quite really serious huh is favorable to some people and is also a disaster to so many others as well. They say federal high court sitting in Lagos has declared that it was unconstitutional for the federal government to conduct marriages. For the federal government to conduct marriages. So all marriages conducted by the Koi marriage registry, others illegal and invalid. Any marriage, any marriage conducted by the federal court has been declared illegal. They said at uh, this day report that the judge had that the heart of the federal government through the Ministry of Interior operating marriage registry was be beyond their powers and held that all marriages conducted by the federal marriage registry or through their agent were illegal and invalid. He ordered the closure of all federal marriage registry opened by the ministry, including that of Ikoi marriage registry, with immediate effect. They also said that only the local government marriage registry were empowered to do such by the provision of 1999 constitution as amended. Only the local government marriage registry were empowered to carry out any marriage certificate, any marriage. So if you, uh, if you, uh, if you marry under Ministry of Interior, if you marry under any federal high court, your marriage is invalid. Just imagine, just waking, waking up in this country, I just find that you, all those why you have been uh, sleeping with a girlfriend, someone you called your wife, or you are legally married to, them. you, you never knew that 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 person is just merely your girlfriend. And it's kind of like favorable to some people though. Some people who are trying as much as possible to get out of their marriage. Some people who are, some brothers out there who are fighting their late brother's wife to color be their property. It's also good for them as well. Or some brothers and sisters who are fighting their late sister's husband over a property. This is also a good thing. They can easily just go to court and say, see, their marriage is invalid. They were never married. So we have every right to take over all the properties, all this kind of stuff. But uh, it's, it's all well, though. My friend just uh, went the other day, uh, last month, November, and they did it in the uh, Ministry of Interior. So I will call him now to tell him that, see, your marriage is invalid, though. But I know the first thing he, he is going to tell me. Court marriage, federal high court marriage is secondary. The primary thing is for you to meet your family me, the guest family, they both agreed and you do the tradition. That is the major thing. The other one are just documentation. So you guys are still married. This court marriage was just introduced recently. During our time, we were marrying without any form of, say, papers or anything. So they are still very well legally married because courts do recognize traditional marriage. They do recognize a Muslim Christian marriage without court marriage. Going out all those days where you say, oh, it's only court marriage that the court recognizes the lie. Courts do now recognize tradition, Islamic, and Christianity uh, marriage. So let me know, guys, how you feel about this uh, new update. And also, let's discuss about Nigeria mosquitoes. Well, there's one particular issue concerning. Uh, Australia socialite. So she recently visited Nigeria just for a show to for a public uh, speech. According to it, they said Australia socialite undergoes 36 surgeries and had both feet amputated after a mosquito bite. After a mosquito bite, I do not know if that mosquito is from the pit of hell, but uh, according to her, she said. She came to Nigeria in 2019 to deliver a speech at a business gathering for travel executive. The single mother said during the gathering, 
she and the invited guests were asked to assemble outside for a photo shoot next to a pool. She said it was while she was there that she got beaten three times by a mosquito on her left ankle. And according to her, the organizer asked me to go outside for a photo shoot with delegates. They had drones, should be roll extra footage. It was filmed next to a pool of stagnant water. It was sunset. That's when I believe I was beaten three times by a mosquito on my left ankle. According to a doctor, she had only a 2% chances of survival. A drug used to test several malaria sent her into shock and organs failure. I don't understand this kind of mosquito. Just recently, I got beaten by almost 10 mosquitoes yesterday night here. And I'm still very, very fine. Nothing, no shaking. I'm still well. Well, <laughs> it's got a mosquito from the pit of hell. Sometimes you hear a bee, a bee beat someone and the person died. So you hear malaria kid someone. <laughs> Begin to imagine. Because almost every goddamn day, I, I, I get beaten by a mosquito. Almost every goddamn day, it's not what I'm like joking with it or doing or want to form big malady about it. Almost every goddamn day, I get beaten by a mosquito. I believe so. I believe so. A mosquito bite had forced this woman at two feet to be amputated. That is serious. I don't think if this woman will ever advise anyone to step foot in Nigeria or even our children, children, children or our, our relative to ever think about coming to Nigeria for anything. I do not think so after our experience. Uh, well, uh, let's move past that. Let's talk a little bit more of uh, entertainment. Uh, firstly, let's talk about what Thames has to say. You know, sometimes last year, Thames and Omale were arrested for flaunting the lockdown in uganda and that thames is just trying to recall what happened to her in fact that year that last year there we actually thought that they would be sent to prison a fake lo lockdown i felt that they, they were manipulated they were like set up it was like a setup because they allowed them into the country and they saw that show was being promoted for months before they came in they never canceled that show they allowed them to come in and they got them arrested well, according to terms, recall just trying to think back at what happened to her then. She said, this very day last year, I was sitting in prison in Uganda, boarding with women and kids. I almost can't believe the things I've seen so far. All I can say is God is too awesome and he will always have the last and final laugh. Well, thank God Thames was out. Omale was uh, was also out, and after Omale uh, came out, that was when he released this bangy music. Um, I forgot it. The uh, Godly, yes, uh, Omale released Godly, and that music just blew. If the first day he come out, he came out, and I think that same day he recorded that song and immediately released it, did a video, and that hit was a banger. Well, thank God they were out though. It's a uh, international collaboration are really great most especially if our own nigeria artists are doing it with already established well-loved artists outside and honestly this was something that we were not expecting coming from uh, fireboy and ed shero ed shero just recently it's not even, it was not even coming from fireboy himself fireboy nev never never even told us that he he contacted Ed Sheeran to remix his song Peru. Ed Sheeran was the one to even announce to us that yes, he's having this remix coming up uh, with uh, Fireboy called Peru. And I'll be like, come on, man. Uh, Fireboy, you never announced to us that you were working with Ed Sheeran secretly. Well, that is actually really great. Basically, you've chosen a song by Fireboy DML. What's this song about? Do you know, so I got sent this a week ago. A friend of mine, Jamal, who runs SBTV, sent it to me. He said, Fireboy, 
DML would love you on the remix of this song. It's a song that's blowing up in uh, Nigeria and Ghana at the moment, and their club scene runs over Christmas. Okay. So you basically put a song to the club in the middle of December, which would seem a weird thing yeah. to do in, 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 in England. But yeah, so I've done the remix for this song, but this is the original, and it's just, it's an earworm, and it's addictive. Well, it's a big, big plus one to Nigerian music entertainment, and uh, honestly, anything as such is always welcome. I'm always really happy to see our Nigeria our, our artists, most especially, uh, working with international uh, people out there who are well, like, re-established. It's not as if uh, uh, Fireboy is working with one low artist out there. This We are talking about Hershey Sharono. It's not as if uh, any other art. Will. Then also, Let's talk about Kemi Oluloyo. You know, after she was sued yesterday, the uh, day before yesterday, petitioned by Sylvester Junior's parents and also uh, Falana asking the police to invite Kemi Oluloyo to speak on her journalism and they also uh, find this on what she said about Sylvester uh, Junior. Well, I thought that Kemi Oluloyo would be like, frightened and uh, maybe kind of like keep quiet and not talk in fact this woman is not even apologetic she released a public statement yesterday firstly she said i have a lot of shocking things coming falana let me do my work do yours human left clown lawyer people cursing out falana also she said Breaking, after a 10 days investigation, uh, investigation interview, 16 witnesses, staff, students and parents, I have launched a full investigation on the Darwin College saga involving the housing death of 12 years old Sylvester Jr. Be aware my investigation is separate from police. As an investigative journalist, my investigations are independent of all parties in the criminal case with police just like the DeBanch, Fato Ibo, Hush Puppy, Woodbury case. Cases, may, my findings will be posted publicly on my YouTube. So it said that uh, she said that uh, she's still on it. It's not as if uh, she's afraid being invited by the police. There is nothing. Well, I had a discussion with my friend yesterday, and I know some of you may, may have seen that video. And my friend said, Freeways did that. This woman is living an imaginary world of journalism. It's not as if she's finding out anything. It's just possibly what can equally occur. For instance, just like a pastor that will come out to predict this year, you no, know, next year, will tell you that there will be death next year that people will die there will be sickness that uh that uh there will be political war there will be uh breakthrough of so many things we already know that those are the possible things that will happen so the same thing that i think the same method that, that i really really think came lawyer is using if there's a story you look at it this way, you look at it this way, you also look at it this way. So she will pick the best possible way. It's not as if she's uh, investigating or interviewing anybody. And meanwhile, Tonto DK was coming like she was trying as much as possible to plead with people not to agitate over Camille Lawyer's arrest. It's troubling, you know. Please, I know that our emotions are everywhere. As a mom, I am hurt to the bones and and i know that a lot of women and mothers out there are feeling sylvester's pain and want all want justice for sylvester but i think that the right thing for us to do now is totally ignore dr kemi wherever she got her information from we do not know that just ignore what she has said because everybody has an opinion and she said her opinion yes her opinion was not settling with everybody but we'd never know where she got her her information so please my people i think all i'm just really pleading with all of us for is you know go back to the drawing board and um the 
justice for what has hurt us and for what is hurting us. I think what I'm trying to say is we f***ing ourselves over the fact that we should just ignore Kemelu lawyer. The fact is that uh, these celebrities just make a lot of issue about them. Whenever we are fighting over a cause, they just come out, keep talking, mix reaction. If you don't have anything to say, just simply keep your mouth shut. Nobody asks Kemelu lawyer to talk. Uh, Camilo, Camilo lawyer, okay, 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 you know what? Let us, let us not even talk about Camilo lawyer. We know about so many several issues, like answers. Answers. If people are really angry over Camilo lawyer's case, it's not even mainly about Sylvester. Have you forgotten about answers? Have you forgotten about Fatwa Ibu? Have you forgotten about Princess? And so many other stuff as well she has talked about. So uh, if people are actually agitating for uh, for, for Kebelori to be doing this, they should get arrested. I do not think it's only about Sylvester. Well, meanwhile, we should not have this divided attention because these celebrities always make things about them. Whenever we are doing uh, important stuff, coming together to do something, they always just want to twist it around. Well, we are not going to give them the chance and uh, that chance any longer. And also, uh, let's talk about Cute Abiola has been released uh, from uh, Navy custody, Nigerian Navy custody. You know, he was arrested because he's a Navy officer, so he was breaking protocols by making funny videos on Instagram and also making funny videos using his uniforms and also carrying AK 47. Then he was arrested after he was warned severely was arrested and uh you know for more than a month now then he was released yesterday he went straight to his mama and uh, we saw a video of uh, how his mother was so so happy but we do not know now if he will pass through the proper by resigning from his uh duties i do not know if if he's going to do that because you're a commander now you have uh, a lot of things going you cannot be a navy officer and still be doing comedy on instagram no it's a different ball game so if i am cute baby i'm gonna go for the one who pay me more I definitely that is instagram uh, being an instagram comedian <laughs> but i'm not going to be a navy officer no 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 no. it depends though but i will choose the uh, instagram comedian because that is the one actually footing the bill well he has a lot to think about let's see what will happen and they're talking about uh, nigeria army here is a copper who proposed to his girlfriend who is a soldier in a camp well it's a really good one though no it's love they found love so you cannot uh, tell people where and when they can love but honestly are you not sure this this officer won't be penalized because you are there in that camp to do a job safeguard protect and also caution guide you are there for a job and you fall in love while on that job don't you think she will be penalized it's against their ethics let us be completely honest though their love is good there's there's nothing wrong about falling in love but you went there kissing sleeping possibly sleeping and they're having love affair with someone you are supposed to be watching after definitely you have uh, done a lot of harm to yourself well it's good to fall in love i'm not disputing that but when once you look at the other way you'll find out that she, i think she might be in a lot of trouble honestly and uh to end this video let's talk about what we know mokore said about if you want to be a successful